smells good. <laughs> You've been making good progress with your cooking, but what made you want to learn how to cook in the first place? Getting ready for your future husband? <laughs> uh, pff, no, I just had to learn at some point, so why not now? No, as in before the return of a certain someone? <laughs> I look forward to the delightful scent of good food made by our future lord. <laughs> I won't be lord for a long while. I wouldn't be too sure. You sneaks away from you faster than you'd think. Ah, uh, I remember being that age. It felt as though I'd be young forever. Then one day, I woke up an old hag. Stop it. You're not that old. Tell that to my back! <laughs> <laughs> Here, give some to your family. They can judge if I've been a good enough teacher. You're a great teacher. Well, I'm not the greatest cook, but good enough, I suppose. Now run along before it gets cold. Thanks, Ella. <gasps> Mr. Wilkins! Mmm. Well, doesn't that smell good? Finished your lesson with Ella, I see. Does the future lord have any to spare? Mmm, I'm not lord yet, but sorry, Mr. Wilkins. I've only got enough for my parents. Maybe next time? I look forward to it. Why do people keep calling me that? Is that my rubes coming through the door? Oh. And with something she intends to share, I hope? <laughs> yes, it's me, father. Look, I made shepherd's pie. You have to try it. So, how is it? <coughs> it's... <coughs> delicious. <coughs> father... <coughs> Anything my rubes makes is amazing in my book. But perhaps a glass of water wouldn't hurt. <laughs> By any chance, does Ella taste your dishes with you? Okay, not a taste. How did I do? I just need a relieve myself a little bit. <laughs> she spit it out last time. I know it's not great. I don't know why, though. It smells amazing, so why isn't the taste there yet? I'm sure with some more practice, you'll get the hang of it soon. Thanks, Father. Speaking of, have you given any thought to being Lord? Uh, not really. Why do you ask? Well, you're getting older, as am I. You're not a little girl anymore. You'll always be my little girl, but eventually it'll be your job to run Aura. Yeah, but it's not like I'll be running it tomorrow. No, but just like with cooking, it'll take some time to learn. It's best to start learning sooner than later. Otherwise, a small mistake could lead to big consequences for the village. Our position is important. I know. You remind me every day you're home. And I will continue to remind you until I'm gone. The head of the family is the center of every village, including ours. As the descendants of Aura's founders, Aura is our responsibility. If we do not succeed in running her, she will fall apart. Generations of work, of love, of sacrifice will crumble. This village needs you, just as you will need it. Your mother and I only had one child. Because of that, the pressure to be Lord lies solely on you. I am sorry. I at least had my brothers to carry the load with me until I was ready. But why can't one of their kids take over Aura? You are the only child of the Lord of Aura. You are her sole successor. It is a position you should take pride in. But... Maybe if you hurry and marry... Okay, father, I get it! Whatever happened with Simon? 
I thought for sure you harbored some feelings for him. Mother! I could find you a good match. We may be a small village, but we're still lords. I'm sure there are other lords with many children prepared to help run a village. Maybe Lord Barrow's younger son. Although I've heard he's constantly out on travels. No! No, father, I do not want to talk about this. <laughs> Alright, I won't rush you to marry. But, before you know it, you will be lord. I realize I've spoiled you a bit, but I think it's about time we get serious. You're my father. It's your job to spoil me? <laughs> Just start to think about it for now at least, okay? Okay. Are you going to actually say something, or are you just going to make noises all day? What if I'm not a good lord? What? What if I'm not a good lord? What if I make all the wrong decisions? What if I'm not ready? Where is this coming from? My father says I need to start thinking about being lord, but every time I do, all I can think about is what will happen if I fail. So, what have you come up with? Huh? What are all the things that could happen if you fail? I don't know, the village burns to the ground and everyone hates me, or, or the cliff. The cliff falls into the river because of a building I decided to build. Or, or maybe everyone is miserable because I can't make a single good decision. Okay. Now what are all the things that could happen if you succeed? If I succeed? I can't really imagine it. I guess people would be happy and not hate me? If you're gonna think about everything that could go wrong, you have to think about everything that could go right. Do you think I'll make a good lord? I think you need to believe in yourself before you can expect anyone else to believe in you. If I didn't think I could get me and Simon by, how could he trust me? Not everything will always be perfect, but as long as you believe you can do it, you'll at least get by and learn from your mistakes. If I succeed... Ruby? I wasn't expecting to see you again today. Is everything alright? Hey, Ella. Yeah, everything's okay. I just wanted to see if I could ask you some questions. Oh, sure. Questions about what? Hmm, about what you would change about Aura. If you could change anything about it. Or what do you hope for the future of Aura? Or, or is, is there anything you need? Whoa, there. <laughs> Slow down. Come on inside. What would I change about Aura? Uh, I mostly wish there were more people. Easier travel between Aura and Caligo would be nice. Maybe an easier path down to the water. Everyone, of course, is lovely here, but I wouldn't mind a few new faces every once in a while. Then maybe I could set up a delivery system between the villages for my baked goods. I guess some more visitors? Have you been going around asking everyone these questions? You must be getting ready for your time as Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous to even think about it. I've been to a few places, all of which are much larger than Aura. Do you know what makes Aura so special compared to all of those other places? What? None of them are quite as tight-knit as Aura. Aura feels like one big family. Everyone cares for each other, everyone knows each other, and everyone looks out for one another. What do you love most about Aura? 
Hmm... Your sweets? My sweets are the best, but think seriously. Uh, don't cry, little roots. Your parents will be back before you know it. <laughs> what I love most about Aura, even when my parents were away on Lord business, I never felt alone. In my opinion, what makes a good lord isn't how big their village is, or even how wealthy. It's how connected their people are. And if you focus on keeping Aura connected, you will make a great lord. I want to start preparing to be lord. Are you sure? We can wait another year. No, I'm ready. I went around the village and listened to what everyone had to say about what they wanted and what they hoped for. I know you've been focused on expanding, but I think we should take care of the issues the village currently has. The paths to the river could use a bit of work. The marketplace could be upgraded, maybe work on creating another community space. And I think there's a certain farm that is overdue for some attention. Look at you taking initiative, and you've gathered some very useful insight. I'm proud of you, Ruby. I promise I won't leave you to figure it all out on your own. If you're sure you're ready, you can start coming with me to work. You'll see what it'll be like when you're Lord and get accustomed to your future duties. Yes, I'd like that very much. Now come, have some dinner and tell me about what you learned today. Okay.